This is a video. So you're on, you're famous now. I make YouTube videos. <laughs> streets of St. Paul blow about five minutes <laughs> but it's still cool and that Giovanni's pizza right here that's smelling good it too. smells good <laughs> very cool It says St. Paul on the Clinch. That'd be the Clinch River. And there's a tavern and eatery. That's cool. We should go check the menu out on that place. Welcome y'all. Please be seated. Oh, look at the whiskey bag. Oh, let's go in and look at it. Ooh. Hey, I was just checking out the whiskey bear. What? What's your menu? Can what I check your menu? What are you doing? This is a video. See, you're on. You're famous now. I make YouTube videos. <laughs> Guys, welcome to the Sugar Plum Tavern and Grill in St. Paul. What's the name of this place? It's the Tavern and Tavern. Yeah, but it's gotta have a name. Maybe it's. We gotta find the name out. We just walked in here because it looked cool, and the owner was really nice, and so we said, "Hey, we're just gonna eat here." This is our wake. What's your name? Lacey. Lacey. So Lacey's awesome and she's Thank you. was telling us she may try to go into athletic training or just be a teacher. Yep. Or something. And we need to always need good teachers. Yeah, and I love kids, so <laughs> it works out. Yes. And then the food looks great. It is great. And thank you. It's of good course. talking to you. You too. Tell us. We got some copyright music in here so i just wanted to show you this huge burger with the bacon and all the veggies and crinkle cut fries and there's tina's cheese steak sandwich and i just want you to look at how big this thing look i can barely hold it loaded with veggies half pound of ground beef and i try to take a big bite of this thing and it is just huge and delicious that first bite i didn't get any bread it was all burger and lettuce and <laughs> tomatoes it was it's really really good 
Great burger. That's a big bite. I'm so full. And then our waitress, Lacey, said they had banana pudding. <clears throat> so I'm no longer full. <laughs> what was the name of the team? Sugar Plum. <laughs> Sugar Plum. And it was good. Yes, it was very good. I had the Philly cheesesteak, as you saw, and crinkle cut fries, and it was delicious. And I had a seriously half pound burger. It looked like a pound. I mean, it. It took him forever <sighs> to eat it. Yes, and I had I, I just took the bun off, uh, and even the first bite, I didn't get any bun because the burger was so big, the the patty. <laughs> So that was really, really good. And the banana pudding that I ate is why I cannot breathe. And I had right a few now. bites of that too, and it was really good. So good. And so, guys, come to St. Paul, go eat at Sugar Plum. The, the owner's so nice. The owner's husband is the cook, he does an outstanding job. Yeah. The wait staff is great. Lacey yes. was just awesome yeah so very very nice we really enjoyed that so if you're out venturing in southwest virginia and you need a good burger don't pass this place up you it seriously it's it's really good really good all right after eating we decided to head up to norton and head up to high knob road and do a little bigfoot hunt and on the way, I want to tell you this story about a local hunter who was sitting in his tree stand on a high ridge when suddenly he started hearing the crows squawk and make a bunch of noise. And then he saw deer running by down on the creek bed. And at first he thought, well, something was going on or maybe something was injured or whatever so he, he gets down off the tree stand he walks uh, down towards the creek when suddenly he smells this real foul odor and then he starts hearing and it was actually several different sounds it was almost like he said uh, sticks were being tapped together or sticks against a log or something like that. And then he heard this scream. And at that time when he heard the scream and this loud thump, he decided it was time to head on out of the woods. And so he started walking out and something hit him in the head like it was a, an acorn that bounced off his head. And he thought, well, that must have just fallen out of the tree. But then another one flew by his head and he realized it was time to get out of there. So he started walking pretty quick and then he also heard these leaves crunch beside of him. And he looks over and out of the corner of his eyes, he sees this large figure kind of black, brownish in color that was he said was trying to blend in with the rest of the surroundings but he noticed its face pretty clearly didn't really look like a man it was just something that was different not like an ape but just a different being uh, he said he'd never been so scared in all of his life he said it was very big the hunter said that he had been hunting in this woods for many, many years and never seen another person. It's very remote setting and he just could not believe what he saw and experienced. He said he'd never been more scared in all of his life. And now you can see we're heading up this high knob road, which is 
pretty remote and kind of scary and reminds me of some of the places I've been in uh, the Blue Ridge Mountains. I do believe there's a squatch in these woods. Not a squatch. A ton of squatch. <laughs> it's, uh, it went all of a sudden from kind of civilization to uh, not civilization anymore. <laughs> right. <laughs> Forced. And not that I'm not used to that. However, it looks extra creepy this evening for some reason. Maybe because there's no leaves or buds, new blooms on the trees yet. That pissed me off. Sorry, Bigfoot said, nope. Keep out. Mm. Oh, we said we'd be always I did see something walking in the woods and it was not a bear. It was on two legs. Holy shit. Okay. Little adventure for the night. Mm-hmm. 